and we are in the Minneapolis Institute of Art. And we're looking, we're in front of the painting, Manicolas Poisson, and it's called the Garnacus, the death of Garnacus. This is a very large painting. It's, it's a, uh, in the Baroque style, yet it is classical Baroque. So um, this painting is sort of a combination between um, a Renaissance painting, a history painting, and um, can we redo it? Okay, so um, I'm Ahmed. And I'm Jack. And we are in front of a painting in the Minneapolis Institute of Art, and it's called The Death of Bernacus by Nicholas Poisson. He was a Baroque. Uh, it was a Venetian Baroque artist. If this is not a traditional Baroque that you would see. It's almost a combination uh, between a large-scale history painting, such as The Wrath of the Medusa by Jared Galt, and the, uh, a Renaissance painting. Um, it's, it's very large in size, and it depicts a historical event with a history painting, yet it uses all the properties of the Renaissance painter, such as um, very carefully composed composition, as well as rounded arches and linear perspective. Oh, I kind of seem like doesn't it seem more like a Renaissance art? Doesn't it seem more like a Renaissance and a Greek and Roman classical painting because it has linear perspective, as you said. Why? Why? How can you find? How can you distinguish this as a Baroque, or a, and not a Greek or classical art? Um, I mean, it's mostly the run. It's mostly the time period, as well as the change um, from more biblical scenes to more history scenes. So in the Baroque era, it was a lot of biblical scenes, such as Caravaggio's The Calling of St. Matthew, um, whereas here we're transitioning into a larger history painting. And plus, if you look at the, exp like, new normal his normal Renaissance or classical painting, you don't have expressions. But in this case, you have the, if you look at the lady by the dead Garnacus, you can actually see her expression and the people be, by her are also having an expression which is not a key of the classical ideal. And plus, there are, there are not perfect rounded arches everywhere in the painting. And, and, and there are engaged columns which are not rounded in this case. But still, we can actually see some of the classical ideals like the rounded arches, the the torn doors and the contrapostos of the people standing. Uh, yes, however, this is not quite um, as dramatic as, for example, the Caravaggio painting. We see here um, General Germanicus playing in the deathbed, uh, telling all of the people around him to assist him perhaps to avenge his death because he was poisoned by the Emperor Tiberius, as was told in uh, the Annals of Imperial Rome by Tacitus. And Tiberius is standing here, acting as he's on Garnacus' side, and he didn't kill him. And he is, he's actually pointing his head, his finger up, saying he will go to heaven, and he will be happy. So this is a very magnific mag magnificent painting. Of the MIA's finances. Wouldn't you agree, man? Yeah, sure. This is actually a big painting. Thank you.